Hey guys, today we're going to be doing some deep cleaning of some areas in my home that definitely need it, including the dishwasher, the fridge, and the freezer. I'm going to be doing a deep clean of all of those areas as well as reorganizing my refrigerator with some groceries that I got today. I'm also going to be doing some basic household tasks like cleaning the table, doing some baking, um, cleaning the trash can, as well as some other things. So if you guys are in need of some cleaning motivation, make sure to keep watching. Before I started a deep clean in the kitchen, I wanted to run a cleaning cycle in my washing machine. So I just used my OxyClean washing machine cleaner and ran a short hot cycle and let that wash just because it could definitely use a nice clean on the inside and then i wanted to move on to my dishwasher so first i obviously had to unload it and put all those dishes away want to show you guys how I ran the first cycle which again is baking soda a cup of vinegar on the top rack run it on the hottest and longest cycle and then when that's done you'll wipe it out and run another cycle Now that I had my washing machine cleaning as well as my dishwasher, it was time to tackle the freezer and the fridge. I started with the freezer. I took everything out including the shelves and the racks and gave those a really good scrub i was planning well i actually ended up doing like target um drop off groceries so i wanted to make sure i had a clean fridge and freezer to work with because it's been about three months since i deep cleaned my um fridge and my freezer and it definitely needed it so here i'm just showing you guys some of the new little like silicone sponges that i got that you'll see me using throughout the video i got a i think is a six pack in all these different colors so i'm using the orange one in this video and it's kind of thin it's not as good as the one that i already have but i like these because they're washable reusable um and i don't know i just rather buy these and then keep buying sponges every five seconds and these are all the colors it comes in so you'll just catch me using these sponges throughout the video and I will link them down below. I got them off Amazon. They're relatively cheap. So if you guys are in need of some good reusable sponges, definitely check these out. I just wanted to quickly say, because you guys have probably noticed already, I'm wearing some sweatpants and a t-shirt nothing crazy um, I look like a hot mess but I didn't want to change because this is literally what I wear to clean my house so I was like no this is super realistic so I'm sorry I look a hot mess but this is just my everyday cleaning clothes I'm curious, when was the last time you guys gave your fridge or freezer a good deep clean? And I mean like taking all the shelves and the pieces out and wiping it down because I've mine I did mine about three months ago and this is the result and it was pretty gross so as I can see I need to do this every two to three months to stay up to date but I'm curious like when or how often you guys do this and if you guys are in need of some deep cleaning motivation I have plenty of that here on my channel so if if you have any tasks that you need to tackle around your house definitely check out my other videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you guys stick around. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing where the wheels don't stop turning. I know we're acting stupid.
now that the freezer was all clean and organized and looked all beautiful, um, it was time to move on to the refrigerator. I started by clearing out the door and doing that so I didn't have to pull everything out and have to worry about it going bad. As you can see, it's pretty bare, so I thought this was a good time before all of our groceries came. So like I said, do did the door first, took everything out, took off the shelves, wiped those down, and then I moved on to the bigger part. I decided to finally put my little egg holder that I bought a while ago in use because I had two packs of eggs and I didn't want to put all of them in the fridge. So I finally used that. I organized the rest of my um, door and I moved on to the big part. And I decided I had two eggs left in the little container, but I didn't want to put the whole container back in. So you'll see later on in the video, I ended up making some cupcakes and used those last two eggs so I don't have to put them back in the refrigerator. If you guys are deep cleaning your fridge or your freezer and you guys plan on taking out your shelves, another way to do this instead of cleaning them one shelf at a time in your sink is to let them soak in some hot water and Dawn dish soap in your bathtub while you clean the rest of your fridge and then you can come back and literally you don't have to scrub. Everything should be pretty much washed off. You just got to like dry them off. I don't know. I just decided to do them one at a time in my sink. But to save time, if you guys plan on doing this, definitely try just letting them soak in your bathtub with hot water and Dawn dish soap. It'll save you a bunch of time in the long run. After my fridge was all done, I, like I said earlier, decided to make some cupcakes to use up those last two eggs so I didn't have to stick them back in my fridge. So I just quickly, you know, mixed up the ingredients and threw those in the oven before I continued cleaning the rest of my task for that day. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine out, show me what you can do. Make a move The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling at this point, my grocery delivery had just got 
delivered which is perfect because I just finished cleaning out my fridge so I can put everything away in my nice clean fridge and freezer so I just unpacked everything I'll just quickly show you guys I'm not doing a haul but I'll just run over what I got with you and just so you guys can see and I also wanted to show you guys I got some toothpicks finally I always talk about using toothpicks to deep clean so I got like an 800 pack of those and then I got these toothbrush protectors to help keep all the germs off them from being in the bathroom but this is the finished product it's pretty bare still I didn't do like a crazy grocery haul but it's clean and it's organized and that's all that really matters so finally done with the fridge I wanted to change out my trash and wipe down my trash can. This is something that I don't really do that often, but after looking at my trash can, it definitely was pretty dirty. So I just sprayed it with my Mrs. Meyer all-purpose spray, gave it a quick wipe down, and then it was time to come back to the dishwasher. So as you can see, there's this little part that you can't really see from just opening up your dishwasher. It's right behind that bottom rack. And as you guys will see right here, it gets so, so disgusting. Like, you can't really see it, but after you wipe it down, you're, like, so surprised that you've never noticed this. I mean, I can't believe I wash my dishes in here. It's not even really clean, so I'm so glad that I wiped this bad boy down. You guys will see how much, I don't even know, grossness, like, right here. Look how gross that is. I don't even know what to think. Like, I'm so happy I cleaned it, but I'm so mad that it took me so long to realize how disgusting it was. I decided since I was already doing a deep clean to take out the little silverware holders and give those a good wash. And then I decided to do another cycle of baking soda and vinegar just to make sure it was nice and clean. So I ran a hottest and longest cycle and then I scrubbed down these little silverware holders as well as this is the top part of my trash can which was pretty gross. So I decided to also give that a good scrub down. The final room I wanted to tackle was my bedroom. If you guys watched my last video, you know I did a bedroom deep clean where I washed the walls, the floors, the windows, literally everything. So I wasn't gonna do like anything major. I just wanted to make my bed, um, clean my bedside table off, and then do a quick vacuum and that's all it really needed. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out these other videos and playlists if you need more motivation. And again, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys. I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers, and I appreciate you guys so much. So definitely hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.